Yeah. You know, uh, this is the time of year when we uh, traditionally uh, send uh, staff members out to retail uh, grocery stores and little convenience stores and uh, supermarkets, and we ask them to bring back unusual items that you can actually buy in stores all across the country, and then we'll kind of show them to you uh, here tonight, and it should be a lot of fun. Paul, do you have music for Call this? Call it Supermarket Finds. Supermarket Finds, and here now with the lovely, the Supermarket Finds. Exchanging glasses, supermarket oh, fine. Da, 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 da. And Paul, let me, let me guess, am I right? That shirt, aisle six? <laughs> <laughs> there, we're now, we're having some fun already with the supermarket fines. Hasn't even Man, begun. And when the Martians tune in, <laughs> imagine what the Martians are thinking. <laughs> Okay, look, and look at this big box of supermarket finds. Let me just dig right in and we'll begin supermarket find. Here's our first supermarket find. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Read along the label if you can. Jogging in a jug. <laughs> Jogging in a jug. One sip and you'll feel sweaty and winded. <laughs> supermarket find number two. Twinkies lights. Twinkies light. I'll show them. I'll show them I'm serious about losing weight. I'll, I'll switch to the Twinkie light. Oh. Ooh. Thanks. Uh, supermarket uh, find item number three, the Adams Family cereal. Look at that. See right here. Free glow-in-the-dark movie poster inside. Wow, what a great idea. Breakfast cereal in the same box with radioactive poster ink. Once again, they're applauding radioactive poster ink. Uh, Nelson Bubblegum. Right. You know, it's shocking, but the FDA actually allows five long blonde hairs in every package of Nelson <laughs> Bubblegum. It's... What? Somebody say toast? Some people calling out their favorite supermarket item. I hope he's got toast. Uh, NFL Pro Scent Air Freshener. It's the New York Giants right there. Yeah. Huh. I think this one's Phil Simms. Uh, supermarket item number seven. You can actually find these in supermarkets uh, anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, in North America. It's the Dr. Clown Medicine Dropper. Dr. Clown Medicine Dropper. Doctor, I've been experiencing some pain in my giant shoes. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Clown. Medicine. Yeah, and one of the complaints you might hear from a patient if you were Dr. Clown, yes. pain in the giant, the giant shoes. shoes. I know. Yeah. So Some discomfort in the enormous clown shoes. So Dr. Clown would not only be a clown himself, but he would also treat clowns. Maybe. Probably. Well, let's just leave that up to the imagination, shall we? Uh, here we have something called hair epoxy, and as you can see on the front oh. there, it's uh, wind tunnel tested. Hey, hey, we're here working on the B-1 cruise bomber. What, what the hell are you guys testing? Well, doing, doing some work on the hair epoxy right here. We only have 90 minutes in the tunnel, so we want to make the most of it. You know? That would be a conversation of the boys at the wind tunnel itself. Yeah. One testing an important weapon. Look at this. Look at this right there, ladies and gentlemen. Get your faces right up close to the TV. New York Mix. You know, it's funny, I, th I think our friend Marv Albert does play-by-play -play for the New York Knicks, doesn't he? Yes! There he is! Well, I'm gonna have a sip of a beverage, so some music, please, while I'm taking a little sip out of a beverage here. Beverage music. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. Now, you wrote that. You get paid for it, don't that you? That is correct. And how much do you make for that? Uh, probably about 50, 75 cents on that. Really? Yeah. And, and if we do it again, do you get more, or is it just one time only? No, next play the same. Next 70, play the same? 75 cents. 
So the next time I have a beverage, write a little different tune, and that's more that money? That would be a different song entirely. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. We'll have you retired before you know it. Uh, our, next, our next item, chicken ready, whole, uh, one whole chicken right there. One whole chicken. <laughs> wow, I could have had one whole chicken in a can. Damn. <laughs> we'll get you out of there in a minute. Oh, this is nice. This is uh, Mr. Paul Beauty Salon Hairnet, the Mr. Paul Beauty Salon Hairnet. You know, you know his wife makes those delicious fish sticks. <laughs> those are very, very, very tasty. Hang on, Clucky, we're going to get the drill. <laughs> See, and that's how comedy is born, just like that. <laughs> Uh, here's Happy Boy Margarine. Happy Boy Margarine. All right, Timmy, one more stick, but then it's bedtime. Okay, we have the uh, Glad Handle Tie trash bags, and on the back, they have uh, suggestions for uh, uses. Here, take a look at these back here. And this one is a travel tote bag right there. Isn't that nice? Yeah. May we, may we help you with your luggage, Mr. Trump? All right, Paul, please. Okay. Um, I tell you what, here's, uh, here's the deal. We're going to do a commercial, and when we return, our very funny friend Robert Klein will join us, and uh, we may open the uh, can of chicken a little bit later, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Morty, Morty, do me a favor. Get the uh, young woman who brought us the cookie all the way from St. Louis and ask her, won't she come down here, and we'll give her the chicken. Chesterfield, Missouri. Hi, how are you? Hi. Pleasure to have you with us. Have a seat there, won't you? Chesterfield, Missouri? Yeah. What do you do for a living there? Uh, I work at MasterCard. In what capacity? Um, I you, decline you, check. That's right, you check up on deadbeats. Yeah. So people phone in and ask you, and then how do you find out if there's money in the account, or how does that work? Um, I type it into the computer, and it gives me an authorization code. Uh -huh. and, and if the, the, the card is no good, then you say, you say, uh, he's a weasel, burn it. Yep. Do, do they have to surrender the card? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to have to take that gum away from you. You're making this all sick. <laughs> thank you. You just... You don't... I don't... I don't care if you are from MasterCard or Missouri or whatever your story is, you don't come on television shows, even this one chewing gum. <laughs> Let's see, uh, uh, P Pierre Frenet will be here. Now, we're going to give you this chicken. I'm going to open this up for you, and you take it back up there and share it. I wonder if we hear any sound effects as we open the can. Oh. Ha hang on, Wacky. We're going to get some oxygen. How, how long are you in town? Just today. Just today? How long have you been in town? Got in yesterday. <laughs> it's Frank Purdue, ladies. It's Frank Purdue's luggage. That's what it is. Uh, and what else have you done besides come to the show? This is it. Wow. Right, Are in. you having a good time? Yeah. Have you ever been to New York before? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now co cover your eyes. <laughs> All right. Close your eyes. <laughs> well. Do we, do, we, do we have some utensils? Do we have like a spoon or a fork? Now, now, before you look at this, I want you to understand, it's completely cooked. You, you can eat it right now. We're just waiting on a fork, and then, and then you can run right up back up. And it, it won't hurt my feelings if you snack on it during the show. And as soon as we get you a fork or a spoon or some kind of utensil commonly used by this society since roughly the Iron Age, do we have a fork or a knife or, or... Oh, thanks, Al. 
Do you have to go to ABC for these? All right, okay, here you go. Now, don't get sick, it's fully cooked. There you are, that's all yours. Congratulations. Run right back up there and enjoy it. And, and that guy, that guy is chewing gum also. They're, they're all chewing gum up there. Uh, all right, we'll, uh, we'll uh, do a commercial. Oh, and then uh, Pierre Frenet will be here. Come on back. <laughs>